Hello, everybody, and welcome. Here's what happens every single time I play Planet Coaster. I start building a building, or I start building a park, sorry, and then I start building the buildings for that park, and the buildings kind of take over. So I figured... I'm gonna slowly build a park, and I mean, when it comes to parks and me building them, for me it is definitely a Disneyland-esque type of park. Main Street, you know, the hub section, and it splits off into different themed lands, that kind of jazz. Now, that's gonna be a long time coming, because on this particular kind of bit of a YouTube series, what I want to focus on is building buildings putting together those buildings that we're going to need for our main streets and our different sections of the park. So we're going to start down main street and we're going to build some stuff. Now I just got the new um, parts and the world fair stuff. So we're going to definitely work some of that stuff in. We're going to work a whole lot of different things in, but I think the first building we're really going to start off with in a building. I want to do something simple to start with. So Disneyland has a magic shop. And I think we should go for a magic shop. So I'm going to build that and talk about what I've kind of got planned for other stuff. And we're going to talk about all sorts of things like that. So that's kind of where I am headed when it comes to what we're doing here today. So I hope you will join I hope you'll enjoy this. I hope that we'll get something out of this together. And I hope we have some fun. So, I am going to go to custom. Come on now. You can do it. I love how you can see some of the stuff that I've started working on and all of that jazz. Um, now a magic shop. I don't know what kind of shop is going to be in the magic shop. Probably a gift shop of some kind. Let's put in just a memento, just for now to kind of give us a just a something. Memento. That is perfect. And building. Come on, game. You can do it. I know you can. Uh, custom stuff. Now, I haven't played around with any of the DLC stuff yet. Obviously, we want the DLC stuff in the game or filters. Uh, oh, look at these. Ways to filter. Excellent. The building sets. Ooh, Bavarian. Look at us go. All right. Um, what I was thinking of, I saw it and I thought about it as, as a perfect kind of thing for a magic shop. Was the new set that was for the kind of English chocolate shop. Your um, uh, oh man, why can't I think of the name of that lovely? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's the name of that series. Um, I thought this would be good because we can kind of add the big bay window and inside the bay window have, um, you know, some kind of magic odds and sods and that kind of stuff. Now here's my thing when it comes to building my Disney type parks. I kind of look at Disney. Um, they fit a lot into a small amount of space. Now, the nice thing about building in Planet Coaster is our store only has to be, you know, that big. That's the store. So instead of having, you know, to have to build hats, 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 and have a big, big space, we can build the facade type place without having to build the giant store in between. If you've been to Disneyland, it's definitely, you know, a store starts on one end and kind of can cross almost all the way down the back end of the side bed, of the back end of Main Street, uh, behind all these other stores. So the magic shop is like, front part it kind of sells books or something small like that in behind it though is a whole other store you know so they managed to fit a, a lot of stuff into a very small amount of space we're gonna do the same thing most of our buildings for the first little bit especially down main street are going to only be two or three squares wide you know and we're gonna go for height and that kind of stuff we're not aiming for a lot of extra stuff on top of that there. Now I do love these new facades because I think they're going to help us out when it comes to building a lot of this stuff. For instance, those are going to look spectacular going up. Um, so let's see what all of these say. Windows small, we 
you know, large. I do like the large window. I would love to fit this puppy in somewhere. Um, but I don't think it's going to happen right now. It's not quite appropriate for this store, but it's definitely going to work out with this door. gonna have some fun with these new pieces. I have to totally get used to the controls of this game again. Um, I've not played in quite some time. I've actually been playing, um, oh dear, I've actually been playing uh, some other stuff lately. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 cool. Um, some a variety of games. I just, I also got a PlayStation 4 if you don't watch our Scratch, I got a PlayStation 4, so there's a lot of sports games on there, and I've kind of gotten away from some of these games. And thankfully, it kind of knows that, and it goes, Hey, Nick, if you press these buttons, it rotates things for you. Thanks, game, for being so considerate about my ineptitude. Um, I definitely want to put these suckers on the top. I think that's going to look absolutely fantastic. So there's the front of our just a memento store, which is really our magic store. Um, now, oh no, one of the, I'm trying to think now, wall signs. I've done some, I've, I've made a grave error in judgment, everybody. Um, there are shop signs, and one of them, I know, is a hat, and it's for Hat Fantastic, and now I've just gone and screwed up. I'm putting a just memento in there, because the Hat Fantastic sign is going to be way better. It's not. This isn't what I wanted. Um, I remember there being some kind of wizard hat because I've done something like this. I'm not going to lie. I've done this kind of thing before, but when I saw all of the new um, sets, I just had to jump in and try the new stuff. And like I say, my biggest problem is I... Uh, I end up just building buildings and not parks, and that's where I get stuck with this game. Every single time I get stuck with this game, it is because there's my one, my fairy tale sign. Uh, yep, then I gotta play with some of these, right? Angle snap, move, tags. I have to go back to, uh, uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of you, because I don't need you right now. Oh, I can add new tags, um, advanced, move, enable, advanced, oh, right, all right, now we're cooking with gas. Whew. X. You guys thought I'd forgotten everything. I didn't forget everything. All right, so we're going to put that there. Da, 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 move that kind of to the middle because I'm going to put the rest of the sign over that way. Uh, and while I have it, we might as well keep using the fairy tale set of stuff. Uh, this one might. Ooh, too big, too big. Good lord, too big. Um, uh, nope, that won't fit down a Main Street facade. And that's kind of what I'm trying to tinker with with these two is making sure they would fit into an overall design of you know those kinds of shops that kind of stuff and um i do watch a lot of uh geekism and he is very right jaunty on geekism is very right when it comes to building some of these things and i know other people have said it too but he's the main one i watch um the 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 this sheer scope of some things in this game is insane some of the stuff is just so big, it becomes almost impossible to use. Now, this is some of the new stuff. Um, none of these are going to work out for us. Uh, there's a button I can press. Yeah, miscellaneous signs. This might help us out a little bit more. I do love this new... Ooh, the arrow lit. Yeah, that's nice. I wonder if that... Is that new? Um, mixed wooden sign. See, again, like, this thing is absolutely massive. Um. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I know there's a smaller sign. I know exactly what I'm looking for. But the problem happens to be I 
completely forgot what it's called. Now, Nick, you should have done your research before you came along and started doing this stuff. Well, to you I say yes, you're correct. I should have, but I did not. Um, there we go. This is more what I'm aiming for. So we're going to try getting this thing to about there, and that means we're going to also have to go back to our hat, advance, move our hat, just a little bit. Come on. Yeah. Because we want it overlapping. Uh, in our sign, we are going to say magic, and of course it's a, it's a magic shop, so you have to use the double P for shop. is probably the closest we'll get to something. Oh, there, look at us go. Magic shop two peas for shopping. Because all all places should do that. They sell shop and they sell things like that. Alright, well here's some other stuff again. I'm going to type in because I like to Once you've built something, um, doing the facade part is not always the easiest thing uh, to do. It's going to be quite difficult. So, uh, we're going to keep that there for now. Building some Victorian stuff.
need scenery items. My filters aren't gonna stay, because I know that for a fact. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go with content packs. I'm gonna go spooky, because it is a, 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 a wizard's store or a magic store. And I'm also gonna hit World Fair, because I feel like there could be some cool new scenery items from our World Fair that might fit. So we're gonna check those out. You know, something even like the pumpkin lantern, you know? Oh, it's, oh, it's small. All right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the crow is definitely something I'm thinking would fit nicely into here. Oh, look at that, that would be perfect. Some spooky bookshelves, huh? So let's put some spooky bookshelves. Uh, let's put some on the back wall here, where the back wall would be. Uh, somewhere around, you know what? We're just gonna make this easier on ourselves. Huzzah! Huzzah! Um, and the wall's gonna go there. So I'm gonna stuck, 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 stuff this right in the corner. And again, aiming for a Disney-style park is something kind of interesting because there is so much care that goes into a Disney park. If you've ever been to one, it is. It's it's absolutely phenomenal the work they put into um you know, one of their parks. Cause they want you to to exist within that park. And you know, be there on a constant like you they want you to immerse yourself in their worlds that they've created. So they will, they'll have, you know, fake books here and there doing their thing and whatnot. I'm adding a few more fake books than I probably should. So on this shelf, because the top shelf's never gonna have anything interesting on it because it's hard to reach, we're gonna fill this shelf just because we didn't on the last one, so we're gonna create some just um, viewing changes. And then on the bottom shelf, we're not gonna put anything. And click. some books just like that and we're going to start putting some once we can find some more things that we'd like to sell we're going to put them on the on the shelf in those spaces so that we can sell that stuff uh, when it comes to lighting we still want to have certain kinds of lighting this can obviously go on the ceiling so I think that's what we're going to do we're going to stick to some ceiling lights something in every pack that I think is it's, it's worth building. Um, there's all sorts of stuff that I just, I do, I, I love the building options that a person can have in this game as I start typing and thinking about it. So we're going to go back to Spooky. We're just going to look through Spooky. Um, a Spooky Occasional Table. What's the size of 
this and does it fit inside my it does fit inside my window so that will be perfect because I needed a something in the window to put some stuff on um, so that'll work really really well we can put this witch's hat on the table. Oh, that is a huge witch's hat. Never mind. Again, there's the problem with this game. We end up with these gigantic, gigantic pieces that just have a problem fitting places. And it's it's sad, really, because like something like this would go really, really well. But it's so big, it's just hard to actually fit in anywhere. All right, so let's turn that off. Let's go to World Fair and let's start going down. I do love these candy skulls, the sugar skulls. Uh, this one's a large. Oh, that's a large one. When they say large, they mean large. When they say small, they they still don't mean small. They're they're lying. Um, I guess that's small for them. I do love that decoration though. It's a great decoration. I'm looking at my time here. Where's my time? 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 Is it doing its thing? Yeah, it's doing its thing. All right. Um, of course, there's no time because I haven't hit buttons to tell me the time. Uh, I feel like I'm going quite long with trying to find some things. Um, so what I'm going to do, because we kind of need to do a little bit of something. I'm going to... I'm going to go back on my word, and I'm going to close up my building a little bit. I'm going to leave this one wall open. Um, and we are going to go with a... What's this one? Flat balcony. Perfect. I'm going to go to colors. I'm going to change this to my green, so it kind of matches with what we're doing here. And we're going to put this in here so we have a second floor, so when we walk into the store... We just get the store. And up here, I'm going to duplicate this wall. And of course, we added that extra little oomph in between there. And that always seems to mess around with this stuff. Uh, grid size. I don't know if I can get this to fit properly. Well, I might be able to, because we are going to actually try doing uh, this. I'm going to move this. I'm actually going to lift it up by another one, two. Uh, still doesn't work. Move. Yeah, that's always an issue when it starts to do that. Now. of this game that drive me insane when things don't fit. Um, can I move? Yeah. So that is what we have to do. Move all of this stuff out one, which is fine. Snap, for the love of God. All right. That could almost work, I think. Um. I can dig that. I'm okay with that. And I don't mind the little pop-out. And uh, we're just going to get rid of this one and demolish it. Because really, what we're doing here is just putting a fake upstairs anyways. There's no actual upstairs. Um, and the only thing I have to do here is, is continue kind of faking my upstairs by... Uh, see, this is where I start having issues. I'm 
so glad you can all see my face as I, you know, do the blind man's kind of stare in these game. All right, so this looks kind of dumb up here. Down here, we've got ourselves something going down, which is awesome. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can't. just gonna put on because guess what it's a roof no one's ever gonna see it unless they're flying from above and I tend to not really care like the above things a tricky thing because um, as a theme park you might be doing the overhead you know like oh you know um, they can they can see you as they fly over for parades and that kind of stuff. You know, Disneyland does the Disneyland parade, and then you would totally see, um, and then you would totally see the 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 um, you would totally see, um, you know, um, the tops of the roof. So you have to make sure that it's it's slightly ready to go, but. Um, but otherwise, you don't really have to worry about it too much. Now, that doesn't do what I want it to do. What's this one? A candle torch. This is some kind of firework, I think. Yes. Uh, candle. That's what I want. snapping on, which I turned off because, you know, it's snapping. Who needs it? So, we get some nice kind of spooky candles up stars. So when you look in, you're definitely going to see candlelight, which is kind of cool. And a little bit eerie and a little bit magical and a little bit spooky. Um, I know I sound like a crazy person. I mean to sound like a crazy person. It's, it's part of the fun. If you can't really get into this game in that way, you should have one. You need help. It's all good. Colorful area. Light. Wish that it's intense. And the floodlight's even more intense. Thank you. 
like how they put most of the light is kind of all in the same place. That's nice. Signs advertising that vehicles, statues, animatronics, all miscellaneous. I think is where we have to end up. Um, I know there's gonna be someone that's gonna comment and be like, "The doy man, like, why not just do this?" And I'd be like, "That was a great idea." That's a visual from inside, that's a visual from outside, that's something that I really, really do like. Now this is a knick-knack type store. A pack of dynamite on the table. I don't think they are. How big are they? Those are huge, of course. They are. That's not going to do it. Get nine. No, not that. Alright. Um, what was I thinking? Shelves. They don't really want them to move around. Once every. I'm gonna say. This is gonna be one of those. Oh, you wanna get a magic shot to see what it looks like every 60 seconds or so. That's a really cool thought process to have. It's like go to the, the magic shot books or go to the movie. Not all, just just the right ones. All right, these are not even. So, no toys. That's a four things selected. Four things selected. Ready was eight hundred times better. Thank 
passer by. Goodness gracious me. Mm, I'm gonna have to come through here again and start sorting because we can sort down our own tank now. I'm gonna have to come and sort by um, by like size. <laughs> buy this overly large Valkyrie helmet just for you. It's awesome. You should totally buy six and take them home today. I like them. They could work. A toy spider of some kind. I hate spiders, but this would be awesome in the store. Go. Stop making things so big. Phone box. So, I know the phone box thing can be um, uh, a very British thing, and being from Canada, we also have some of them as a, a, a an homage almost. Uh, they're mostly outside of uh, the Sherlock Holmes bars now, because that's just it's the thing. You know, it's Sherlock Holmes, it's an English pub, it's an English pub. You have yourself a. Um, Red phone box, uh, but we still have them around every once in a while, and it kind of just throws me off when, like, they're not that tall. Although I guess the door's that tall, so Franco is just a, a weird kind of game. Um, it's really tough to, to to judge certain things. I'm gonna type in shell or shelf. Oh, we have this spooky shell. Animatronic Pro, but if you type in Raven, it's a no-go. Um, so we're going to move this guy over this way, and up this way. And he's going to sit on the edge of the world. And that's going to be good for our magic shop window entrance. You can see some of the stuff behind it, which is good. Once I can find some more stuff, we'll come back and fill in those shelves. But for now, guys, we're going to do this. Because I want to keep going. I don't want to waste anybody's time with any more of this kind of stuff. Because we're having a problem finding some stuff. So when I can find some, some more doodads, we will find some more doodads. For now, everybody, I'm going to finish off with the top part of my building. Now, of course, uh, if you look at a Disneyland, all of the buildings are pretty much attached um, together. Again, that's why I can get away with very plain and simple sides to my buildings. Now, if the next building is shorter, then I'm going to have to do something up here to decorate these top parts. But for now, 
I don't have to worry about that. Now, I type here, and I don't want flat roofs, I want decorations. Uh, a haunted house chimney is this huge? That is huge. That is massive. Uh, that is the base to a haunted house chimney. That's good. I still want to make this again look like it belongs on a main street. So I don't want anything absolutely massive. I don't want abs anything absolutely huge. That is quite the decoration. Um, a diner roof. Sorry, everybody, as I, you know, just proceed to look at anything that's not what I'm looking for. Um, none of those help me. All right, uh, if I type in chim, me, like I really, I like this one, but it is much too tall. I like this one, but it is much too tall. How are you? You are crookedly, oh, that way. I see. You're better. Um, how tall are you? Yishka. So if I and into the building and make sure that you are not going, so you are just touching the floor there. How tall are you? All right, we can make this work. Because it's a magic shop, it's going to be a little wonky with the chimneys. Three, and I do have a reason for this. Highest one, and we'll put this one. Without going. Oh dear. Oh, there's a button I have to press. Which one is it? This one? Yep, that one. Oh no. Too far. Too far, Nick. Too far. Alright, cool. So right click this button again, and then I can... Okay, so from the ground from here, you're not going to see a lot of them. That's totally cool. Again, this is one of those, you know, you're flying by, you would totally see these things. And you're going to be able to see them from another thing, because I'm going to add some smoke. Um... Obviously, it's in the effects category, but we can just click smoke, and we will be okay. Colorable smoke small. Uh, coloring smoke medium. Okay, that's a little too intense. And if it's only going to be that, then we have some work cut out for us, as we're going to hide them inside the chimneys. This one, okay, we're gonna go with the classic Roy. Roy, so we need a little orange for this one. Is that kind of too yellowy? Ready? I guess we'll see in a second. Did that not hit? Record. Did my first one not hit either? Okay, we'll have to go back and put that one in. Do 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 do. Apparently I'm just like, I'll pick colors and not do anything but pick colors. Yellow, let's make it super yellow so we can tell the difference. Oh, for sherzies. Alright, let's go back to here and just finish this one because it's going to hurt me. Red. Yellow, Roy, G, and we're not going to fit Violet into our Biv. We're going to have to find a way to uh, 
make the building next to this have a bit of purple so that our Roy G. Biv makes some sense. I think not adding purple kind of um, takes away from some of that evil factor, though. It tends to associate itself with, you know, that kind of thing. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is our magic shop in all of its lovely, lovely glory. Um, with an open uh, window from the new set, uh, some lovely colored smoke coming out from the top and a facade of there with the candle lights coming out. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. We have ourselves a magic shop. I think that looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. And that's where I'm going to stop right now because I feel like this video goes on way longer than it should have for something like this. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Twitch channel, and all that lovely stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, starting soon, it says Jeepers Creepers Nick, get it together, do the right thing. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. And also join us for the newscast every Saturday starting at 11 o'clock Mountain Time where we talk about game and movie and nerd news. All the nerd news you need to know is on that show. You can then join us for the post credit show where we talk about games, movies, and other assorted stuff we have played over the week. Thanks for watching, and we will see you soon.